friends, welcome back. Let me turn my plant. There we go. Welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Amber and welcome to my channel. I share my food bank trips and hauls, simple Southern cooking, canning and preserving, frugal tips, how I use the food bank items to feed my family, such as pantry cooking. And if you're not new here, welcome back. But if you are new here and that's the kind of content you like, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you join. As you can tell, I'm better guys. I feel so much better. I have a little lingering like drainage down my throat. Um, and I did get a nasty little, I guess, fever blister, cold sore, fever blister under my nose. But you know what? It's going to be okay, guys. It'll heal. I feel better. And it's time for us to cook. Are y'all happy to be back? I am. All right. I have a multitude of things going on. I did go ahead and start one thing. On the stove, I have some potatoes. I diced up. They're in some water. Um, and I'm just going to get them boiling so I can make some simple mashed potatoes to go with dinner. For dinner, I have these chicken breast tenderloins. I have some bacon from the freezer. I am going to do what my children love and we just call bacon wrapped chicken. Super simple. Then I have some Brussels sprouts and I have some green beans that I am going to get cleaned up and on a sheet pan and get them roasting in the oven at the same time so that I have some low carb veggies. It may look like a lot of veggies when I get done, but don't worry. I will eat on this for lunches throughout the week. So we're going to have bacon wrapped chicken, mashed potatoes, and like I said, some low carb veggies, Brussels sprouts, and green beans. Um, that should be plenty, guys. I don't think I have anything else. So I need to get my colander out because first things first. I need to get these veggies washed up. And I do have the oven preheating, but for right now, all I'm going to do is wash these veggies up so that I can ah, get them chopped up and cleaned up and on a roasting pan. If I can get the bag open. Guys, I have missed being in my kitchen. Oh, when I tell you I love to cook, I love to cook, guys. Um, but it's okay. At least my sickness was short-lived. I am hoping and praying that it does not come back. I am hoping and praying that no one else has picked it up. It doesn't appear that anyone has, but you never know. Um, so I've been trying to make sure that we... Keep everything clean and wiped down and washing hands, not sharing stuff, which we're typically good about not sharing out of cups and stuff anyway, so. All right, I am going to get these washed up. And guys, let's see, I'll take you with me. I'm just gonna get them washed up. My sprayer does not work. It has not worked since we have purchased this home. Um, I did try to fix it one day, but like I said, it doesn't work, guys. I don't know what to do with it, so I just leave it alone. My husband, uh, Josh, he has even tried to fix it, and to no avail, we cannot get it fixed. So all I'm doing is just giving these a quick rinse. Um, I'm going to chop them and trim them up, so nothing fancy, just rinsing them off. Alright, and this may seem like a pretty not simple meal for a Monday night, but it's stuff that I have on hand, guys, and it sounded good, and my appetite is finally back, so I am ready to be cooking. Alright, I am going to just put my trash right here, get you guys right here, move my coffee, parchment, get another towel. I need another towel so that I can set the colander well, yeah, let's see here. All right. All right. Andrew, go lay down, baby. Don't be good. 
All right, get these green beans open. Get out, go lay down. What's wrong? You're not getting the bread out of the chicken bucket. No, go. He thinks he's being sneaky. I put a piece of bread in the chicken bucket and he thinks he's gonna get it out. All right, I'll move it. You're not tempted. All right, guys, sorry about that. I just went ahead and moved it into the laundry room so he wasn't tempted to get into it. first let's get this going because these brussels sprouts sometimes can take quite a bit not too bad maybe about 20 25 minutes i'm hoping and all i'm going to do is just trim the outer leaves and that end off and then i'm just going to chop them in half and put them in a bowl let's see here i want you guys to be able to see what i'm doing here all right so i'm just chopping cleaning them up i think i'm the only one in my family that eats brussels sprouts but it's okay that just means more for mama I will try to get them to try it again because you never know, your taste buds change and one day you might like it. I have a coworker at work, a coworker slash friend, the same one I travel with and she did not like Brussels sprouts or so she thought. And then she tried them one day and she liked them. They remind me of cabbage. I mean, they seem to take on the taste of whatever you cook them with and the seasonings. So what all are you guys having for your dinners tonight? I know I kind of got quiet there. I'm just in my own little world right here. Just, you know, trimming up these Brussels sprouts. Trying to think if I got my seasoning out that I need for this and I don't think so, no. I have a container of uh, Red Robin seasoning. It's a local burger restaurant that we have um, around here and one day when I was traveling on a work trip they um, my co-worker we were like hey can we buy the red robin seasoning and they actually sold us a jar of it and I was shocked it was like for something too not bad at all and it's a pretty big jar and so I like to use it on multitude of different things
And that's just my oven letting me know that it has been preheated. I turned it on 425 because just about everything I'm putting in there. Hey, can y'all calm down? Are you okay? Why'd you help? Are y'all playing too rough? Huh? Are y'all being too rough with Gabby? No, no. Nose away from the counter. All right, go in the living room. You want a Brussels sprout? I gave him a Brussels sprout leaf. And he actually ate it, guys. I know he likes cabbage. And cabbage is good for dogs, so. Surprisingly, he ate the Brussels sprout, guys. That's all you're getting. Go be good. No, no. No, no. He's a good dog. They all are. But where Gabby is such a tiny dog, she's only four point something pounds. Sometimes they can be a little rough with her. All right, we are almost done chopping these. No, no. Go be good. All right. All right. All right. I'll be right back, guys. Take this out. Ah, come on. Come on. need to get my olive oil, salt, pepper. Where's my olive oil? not going to grab the salt because there's enough salt in this but this is that seasoning I was telling you I got it at our local um, burger place Red Robin it's actually really good and it's a pretty nice size container so I'm just going to drizzle some olive oil some pepper I may have a hard time tossing them in here, so uh, use the bigger one. I'm just gonna put parchment down to help keep it from sticking to my baking sheet. it over the pan that way if something falls out hopefully it'll fall in the pan and I am no chef guys sometimes I'll never forget the first time I tried to toss in a bowl like this I made a huge mess I just personally don't want to get my fingers and hands all greasy I got some gloves in the cabinet but all right so now I'm just gonna I guess it doesn't want to spread out. Spread them out, spread them out. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these in the oven because like I said, they'll take a little while. This bowl, I'm just gonna reuse this bowl for the green beans, take out, because the seasoning, I'm actually gonna use the same seasoning that I used on the Brussels sprouts. Oh, let me wash my hands, guys. Okay. So on these, all you gotta do is, because they're fresh, 
is just snap the ends. You don't have to do anything else. And like I said, this year I plan on growing way more green beans than I did last year. Fresh green beans are probably the our favorite vegetable. All right, so I am just going to continue to do this. Say hi. That's Ron back there. He, I have had him the longest. He was my first rescue cat. I had him before I even met my husband. When Josh met me, I had Ron and Gabby. Those were the only two, and Splat. I didn't, I mean, well, let's fix that. I had Splat, but I didn't physically have Splat with me. He was actually still with my, um, I don't know. It's kind of a weird situation. My ex, uh, stepdaughter, but, um, when my stepdaughter moved to Ohio, I got a text saying, Hey, do you want Splat? And at the time I was with Josh. So he was like, uh, yeah, that's your cat. You had him beforehand. So I went and picked my cat up. I had missed them. It was quite a while. But Ron and Gabby, they are spoilt rotten. All right, so I thought about roasting these green beans as well in the oven, but I don't really want to roast them. I think I'm going to steam them in a pot. I could saute them in a pan. I might saute them. They won't take long, but I want to go ahead and get them cleaned up and waiting for me. We dropped one. It'll be okay. One of the dogs will actually eat that. Well, the cat's looking at it right now like, what is this? It's a green bean. All right. So that is all the green beans. Since I'm going to roast these, or not roast, uh, saute these in a pan. I'm just gonna wait to season them in the pan. So I'm just gonna set these aside, clean my mess up. You guys already know I don't like a mess. All right, so, now, I need a clean bowl. Right here, for this chicken to go into. I did get gloves out because I do not like to handle raw chicken. But before I handle that chicken at all, let me drink some coffee. All right. And I'm gonna go ahead and open up this bacon. 
and get some of it pulled out. Well, if I can get it open, guys. There we go. I normally do this with regular bacon, but this is what I had on hand, and it's thick cut, so it should work just fine. All right, now for the chicken, I just have some simple seasoning right here. It's like an all-purpose style seasoning. It has a really good flavor. And I'm just going to rub that all over these chicken breast tenderloins. Trying to make sure they all get coated. All right, bring my pan in front of me. Super simple, guys. Take a piece of bacon, take a chicken tenderloin strip, wrap it around it, and plop it down. It's super simple. My family loves it. It's a low carb dish. The bacon. Like I said, typically I just use regular, your regular bacon, but this is what I have. And so this is what I'm using. But the bacon will help to keep the chicken juicy. Um, I like to cook it in the air fryer, but today, since I'm running the oven, I'm thinking about just throwing it in the oven. To less, it's one less dirty dish. So, and I consider my air fryer a dish because when I use it, I have to wash it. I cannot put it up dirty. Um, I know some people, they'll use their air fryer and they just close it up and they put it back. And I can't do that um, to each their own, but I have to take that basket out and wash it. So, like I said, super, super simple, guys. Super simple. But it's absolutely delicious. And if you are low carb, sometimes things get monotonous. They get repetitive. They get boring. And it's hard to stay on track. I have been there. <laughs> I have been back and forth. I have said I can't do this anymore. And I'm, I still allow myself a few things here and there. Um, if I want to have a bite of mashed potatoes... Guess what, guys? I'll have a bite of mashed potatoes. But ultimately, I try to stay low carb. I am doing better. It is getting easier. And the reason it's getting easier is because I am seeing the results, guys. I am seeing my hard work pay off. And I figured this would be enough for dinner tonight, considering my husband he is still not home he will be home tomorrow we thought he was coming home monday originally but it's not it's tuesday so josh will be home tomorrow i don't know what i'm doing for dinner tomorrow but this right here guys that's it i'm going to take my gloves off and i'm going to sprinkle the top of them with some more of this seasoning that simple, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in the oven. We have the other stuff in the oven. And I'm not gonna start the green beans just yet. So I will bring you guys back when we continue to cook. All right, you guys. So my potatoes are done boiling and they're nice and soft. And we have them here in a pot. And it's time to get these turned into some mashed potatoes. I am not using real butter. I am using this stuff. Um, and that's because I'm not consuming this. This is cheaper. It works when you're using a recipe that takes more. Butter is not cheap. Butter is better for you than this. But, you know, when you're watching your money, sometimes you got to buy the cheaper stuff. All right. So, I got some butter in there. We're going to put a splash of milk. <coughs> All right, I'm putting a thing of mayo.
We're gonna put some salt and pepper. Ugh. If you don't open. Oh, that's right, I didn't bring the salt over here. Blend it up. guys that is the first thing we have finished and it is done it is homemade mashed potatoes and even though this is carby i have got to try it because i need to make sure that it is seasoned right and doesn't need anything else tastes good guys all right so i'm going to put this away put a lid on this All right, set it back over here to stay warm. Andrew, honey, go lay down. Check on this stuff. All right. There are the Brussels sprouts. They are also, let's see here. I like to make sure they're kind of crisp. Some of them are looking much better than others. They're not burnt, guys. I don't know why the lighting looks like that, but no. Those are good. So we're gonna set those to the side. up guys one thing at a time thank you <laughs> oh excuse me all right sip of coffee mm. delicious all right guys we're moving over to the stove can you guys yep y'all can see from there Pan is hot. Now for the green beans, I am going to use bacon grease because you know the flavor. And hold on, before I do that, I have some bacon because there was only four pieces of that bacon left. I just threw it on a sheet pan and threw it in the oven to cook it. So I'm just gonna drain that grease directly into this pan. Along with all those little bits and pieces. Cause I'm actually gonna break these four pieces of bacon up into these green beans. Let's take those out. Just a touch more. There we go. That bacon grease.
grease is going to add a lot of flavor to these. But before I throw the green beans in, small cutting board. I'm just taking and dicing up a clove of garlic. So just a couple cloves of garlic in there. I will say while I was sick, guys, I got a lot of reading done. That was one, I guess, positive of being sick. I didn't have anything to do. So, and I'm not huge on TV. Um, it's just, I don't know. I've always been more into reading. So, I got some reading done. And that was nice to be able to read. Until my eyes started getting watery and I'd fall asleep. I did a lot of sleeping. But you guys told me I needed to, so... I took your advice. All right, let me take, I'll put this half of onion, put it up, set this over here. So all I'm doing is sauteing this uh, garlic and onion a little bit. I'm gonna check on the chicken while it's doing its thing. Let's see here. I need a bowl to drain this into. Move this to the side. guys I'm gonna go grab my coffee Andrew, 
You're not supposed to be in here unless you lay down. All right, so that is starting to look translucent. Uh, I can't say the word, but yeah. I wanna throw my green beans in. this bacon because like I said I had four pieces left and I just threw them in the oven to cook them up good there's some of them that I wish I could get a little more crispy so let me see here I want to try something these are really good though down below though do you guys like brussels sprouts i know not everyone does Look at these green beans guys see how they've already changed color i will cook mine a little bit longer i like mine to be kind of soft So we're going to let that cook, guys, and I'll bring you back when stuff gets done. All right, friends. 
Oh, so everything is done. I have everything else. And let's see here. My plate will look different than others because I'm not gonna put potatoes on my plate. So I will put some of these green beans, some of these Brussels sprouts, And we'll put a piece of chicken. All right, you guys, you can use ranch, anything that you would like to on your chicken. Let's tilt you so that you can see it. But there you have it, guys. Bacon wrapped chicken, fresh green beans, um, some Brussels sprouts that I just roasted in the oven. Healthy, low carb. The family has potatoes that they can have with theirs. But this is dinner, guys. And like I said, you can use ranch to dip it in. Whatever your choice is, I won't use anything to dip it in. Um, I will have just this. So, looks delicious, guys. All right. And again, I am so happy to be back and be cooking. And I look forward to the rest of the meals this week. Like I said, I don't really have a plan. I didn't meal plan for February. We are just kind of winging it. And we're going to go with the flow. I am trying to use some stuff that I had in my fridge, such as the Brussels sprouts and the green beans. I don't want any food to go to waste. So, all right, you guys, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Like it, share it, um, send your friends, tell them to come watch me, guys. But until next time, take care.